planet is a huge celestial body on which water is constantly circulating, giving it life. Seventy percent of the planet's surface is covered by water. However, only three percent of it is fresh water. Water is a renewable yet a limited resource. The process through which fresh water on the Earth's surface and in the aquifers is replenished is known as the hydrological cycle. Heat from the sun and wind action facilitate water evaporation from the sea, the lakes and the rivers. The evaporated water rises to the atmosphere as water vapor, forming the clouds. The water vapor in the clouds condenses, liquefies and falls on the earth as precipitation in the form of rain or snow. this water infiltrates into the soil and recharges the natural groundwater reservoirs known as aquifers, while the remaining flows as surface runoff to the rivers through which it reaches the lakes or the sea for the process to start again. The rainfall in Cyprus is unevenly distributed both geographically and in terms of time. The western part of the island and the island's two main ranges, Troodos and Ventodactylos, receive most of the rainfall. Several rivers in Cyprus are intermittent streams which dry up in the summer and are characterized by sudden floods in the winter. The central and eastern lowlands are a lot drier. The climate in Cyprus is characterized by rainfall of great temporal variability and frequent droughts which last for two or more years. Cyprus has always suffered from frequent and prolonged periods of drought. During earlier times, water for the daily needs of the people had to be transported from great distances. Until the 1970s, groundwater was the main source of water, both for drinking and irrigation. Excessive extraction of groundwater led to the depletion of many aquifers on the island and the saline contamination of most of the coastal aquifers as a result of sea intrusion. It is not worth it that during the early 70s there was a significant reduction of around 20% in the island's rainfall to merely 470 mm per year, probably as a result of climate change. The reduction in rainfall resulted in a reduction of approximately 40% in the average annual surface runoff and a comparable reduction in aquifer recharge. Aiming at ensuring the supply of adequate quantities of good quality water to the citizens of Cyprus and the efficient usage of the very limited water resources on the island, the Water Development Department has designed and constructed major works for water supply, irrigation and drainage, such as dams, water treatment plants, irrigation ponds, plants for tertiary treatment of wastewater, desalination plants, as well as infrastructure such as water conveyors, irrigation networks and pumping stations. The department's major projects include the Paphos Irrigation Project served by Esprokremos Dam, the Pitsilla Integrated Rural Development Project, which consists of 19 off-stream ponds, the Vasilikos Pentaskinos project, served by the three dams of Kalabasos, Dipotamos and Lefkara, and the Chrysochou project served by Evretou Dam.
The department's most important project is the Southern Conveyor Project, which includes Kouris Dam, the largest dam in Cyprus, of a capacity of 115 million cubic meters. The project's main conveyor is 110 kilometers long and supplies water for drinking and irrigation to the districts of Limassol, Nicosia, Larnaca and Famagusta. A 14.5 kilometers long diversion tunnel conveys water from the Arminu Dam to Kouris Dam augmenting the amount of water available to the project. The total dam capacity in Cyprus is 327 million cubic meters. Part of this water is fed to the five water treatment plants of Hirokitia, Kornos, Limassol, Tersefanu and Asprokremos, at which high-quality drinking water is produced. annual water demand in Cyprus is estimated to be 250 million cubic meters. Approximately two-thirds of it represents the demand for irrigation, while the rest represents the demand for domestic, tourist and industrial use. Aiming to resolve the problem of both, the ever-increasing demand for drinking water and the erratic rainfall in Cyprus, the department proceeded to exploit non-conventional water resources. Desalination plants have been constructed at Tekelia, Larnaca, Vasiliko, Episcopi and Kuklia, which help to render the supply of adequate quantities of water to the major urban and tourist areas. An additional benefit of the establishment of the desalination plants is the greater quantities of water in the dams that can now be made available for other needs on the island. Plants for tertiary treatment of wastewater serve all major cities and communities. These plants produce water suitable for irrigation. The recycled water is a reliable and permanent source of water expected to ease the water scarcity problem in Cyprus. The surface and groundwater resources in the country have been practically fully developed by the department through its various projects. For this reason, the department's activities are now mainly geared towards integrated and sustainable water management. Cyprus's accession to the European Union in 2004 and the subsequent establishment of an appropriate legal framework has fortified the department in its work and efforts to protect and manage the water resources on the island in a holistic and a sustainable manner. The Water Framework Directive of the European Union requires that all member states establish river basin management plans. The department, as the implementing agency, has prepared and is presently implementing a management plan for the entire island, which aims to protect water bodies from further deterioration and promotes water conservation through sustainable management for the sake of the environment and the present and future generations. Within the scope of the management plan, the department has constructed wastewater treatment plants and has installed sewerage collection networks for small communities where sewage may cause water pollution problems. Additional river basin plans for the management of flood risks in Cyprus provide further protection to public health and reduce the adverse consequences of flooding. One of the department's main objectives is to keep the public informed on water issues in Cyprus and to educate them on how to protect and conserve the country's water resources. The department regularly gives lectures and organizes events and campaigns on the subject of water conservation and its importance. Water is priceless. It is our duty to protect it for our own sake and the sake of future generations. Water is life.